What's up, guys? Welcome back to the best trading channel on the YouTube market here. Uh, so we're going to get into our Monday watch list. I was going to review, you know, what we did on Friday. And I already started the watch list. Uh, my power went out. So I'm just going to start from here or whatever. But uh, just, just to make sure everyone knows, 8 a.m., to 9:30 a.m. I mean live on YouTube, live streaming, what trades we're getting in, uh, live day trading. If you're interested in that, let's get this. And these are literally just momentum, fucking level two book orders. You know what I'm saying? That's how we trade here. That's how I trade. Fuck the indicator. You don't need it. It's a waste. I mean, some people, you know, indicators are good. You know, they're helpful. But it's not specifically needed to trade. So, that's why I don't use it. But then again, I'm different than any other person here. So, there could be other traders that use the indicators and go with it. Just not. I'm not, I'm not that one. I'm not doing that. Uh, GM. I'm just going to put GM on the watch list without any alerts. Actually, I'm going to put that on the swing trades. I feel like GM is about to blow up. I'm, just, I'm feeling it. I'm not going to feel it and call some plays on it, but I'm feeling like it's going to. Plug power puts, those are looking profitable. DBX doesn't move that much, so we're not going to call any trades on that. TCOM finally hitting a level here. Might be starting to get bullish, but we're not going to play with that. Roku, nothing, nothing, nothing. Twitter moving back up for some calls. Pow, nothing got rejected. Stamps.com. I was literally looking at this, too, the other day. On Thursday, so whatever. Oh, Spice, Space, I guarantee this is going to be up pre market because their news that came out. First solar possible breakout for calls up here. OSTK, shoot! Oh my goodness. Possible buy calls on OSTK. PLTR nothing. Amazon nothing yet. Netflix new. Twilow possibly. I don't think. I think that'd be like a Tuesday trade. VNet coming down from its dip. We'll look for calls. Uh, moves up past this wick. We can see some bullish momentum. Could see a swing like this. Two weeks out play on VNet. Oh, CRM fell off. Well, if CRM keeps falling, we'll look for puts. Apple, still f greatly bullish. Just going to raise that up. Net is getting close, so we're gonna actually going to put that on the watch list. NVIDIA breaks below possible puts. I don't think it's going to break below, but I'm just saying if it does, you know, possible puts there. Lulu, possible breakout. Perfect. Looking looking good. Snow. More calls off snow if it just keeps pumping. Coin, possible breakout on coin. W-Y. 
Oh, PayPal. Oh, I think I called this on Friday above 300. PayPal was looking good. Baba didn't break below. Sorry to get bullish. Possible breakout of McDonald's. This probably happened Tuesday, so we're just going to put this on the list, but not actually on tomorrow's list. You know what I'm saying? Uh, possible breakout on NEM. NEM, I don't know. What mineral company. I, I doubt this is a big mover play, but we'll add it to the list. Possible breakout OSTK. Dude, we're going to have some good movers tomorrow. I'm really feeling it. So Starbucks, possible breakout. I don't like Starbucks, so I'm not adding it to the list. Vago did break out. I'm not going to call it, though. Costco continuation of the trend. Home Depot, possible breakout on Home Depot. Possible breakout on Coca-Cola. This would actually be a big move. Um, if we did, like if it moved a lot, Coca-Cola, those options, volatility is super low on them. So if they actually move a lot, it's going to be a banger of a play. You know what I'm saying? Possible breakout on UPS. Got the alert set in already. Piton puts. Continues to go lower. Puts on Piton. JPM, possible calls on JPM, possible calls on JPM. Possible calls on RH, possible calls on RH. Actually, that's a big move up. I don't see it happening. ATOS, we're leaving that alone. That's penny stock. Possible calls on CLF. Possible calls on CLF. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a uh, an auction I'm trying to sell you guys something. Jesus. The way I'm talking right now. Possible puts on Twillo. Take two games.
possible calls on pawn. Possible calls on TSM for the top break. Possible calls on TSM. Market's mostly bullish, I would have to say. 20 alerts, mostly bullish. So, as I like to do, just filter these by volume and take out most of them. But doing that really doesn't matter because these will be filtered in pre-market anyways. And, yep, that's the watch list, guys. Um... Hope this helped. Hope this helped you create your watch list. Um, make sure you just take this list. I'll I'll export it for you guys, and you guys can just put this on your own. It'll be right in the description. But yep, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. to 9:30 a.m. Peace out, guys.